Another night of torrential rains pounding Central Europe forced massive evacuations in the hardest-hit areas in the Czech Republic, where floods reached extreme levels on Sunday. Meteorologists have warned the situation might worsen as waters in most rivers are rising, the flood wave made its way through the country and more heavy rains could return overnight. Authorities declared the highest flood warnings in almost 90 places across the country and in two northeastern regions that recorded the biggest rainfall in recent days, including the Jeseniki Mountains near the Polish border. In the city of Opava, up to 10,000 people out of a population of some 56,000 have been asked to leave their homes for higher ground. Rescuers used boats to transport people to safety in a neighborhood flooded by the raging Opava River. There's no reason to wait, Mayor Tomas Navradil told the Czech public radio. He said the situation was worse than during the last devastating floods in 1997, known as the Flood of the Century. Thousands of others also were evacuated in the towns of Krnov and Seski Tezin. The Oder River that flows to Poland was expected to reach extreme levels in the city of Ostrava and later in Bohumen. Towns and villages in the Jeseniki Mountains, including the local center of Jesenik, were inundated and isolated by raging waters that turned roads into rivers. The military sent a helicopter to help with evacuations. In the perspective of the future, Russia will be able to attack NATO countries because it has focused on the military economy. This was stated by German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius in the Bundestag. The security situation remains very serious for the foreseeable future. We must assume that the Russian army will grow by more than 30% to 1.5 million soldiers in 2026. Russia has focused on its military economy and will probably be able to train its army to the point where it is capable of attacking NATO territory in a few years, he warned. With this in mind, Germany is doing everything it can to strengthen the country's defense capabilities and continue to support Ukraine in the fight against the aggressor now. As early as this year, Germany will hand over to Kyiv, for example, four Iris-T systems and five more Gepard SAUs, most of the 12 Panzer Hobbits 2000 howitzers promised last week, combat drones, several thousand artillery and tank ammunition, up to 40 Leopard 1A5 tanks and 20 Marder armored infantry fighting vehicles, Pistoria said. However, Germany itself is also in need of investment in defense and the army. Although the army is now better prepared for the need to react quickly to any threat, the list of needs of the German army remains long. As a result of the threat from Russia, Germany plans to allocate more than 75 million euros to the country's defense and security needs next year. For the first time, more than 2% of the country's GDP has been allocated specifically for defense, but this figure will also increase in the future call. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened NATO with war, 
after the inherently threatening comments issued by Vladimir Putin and the Russian minister, another ally of the president, has added to what appears to be a coordinated series of statements from the senior Kremlin figures. The chairman of Russia's state Duma, the lower house of parliament, this morning accused NATO of being a party to military action in Ukraine, suggesting it was already heavily involved in military decision-making. Vyacheslav Volodin, a close ally of Putin, accused the US-led military alliance of helping Ukraine choose which Russian cities to target, of agreeing specific military action and of giving Kiev orders. They are waging war with our country, Volodin wrote on his Telegram channel.